Hi everyone, here we are at lesson number 48. There is nothing to fear. Well, when you take a look around the world, you think, how can this possibly be a statement that makes any sense? It says it's not a fact to those who believe in illusions. Well, when they're talking about illusions, they're talking about this sense of living in a separate objective world and that we're a separate little person unrelated to anything else. All those things that we think aren't beliefs, but really the truth, it says, nope, they're not the truth. They're just illusions. And in illusions, it looks like they're gazillions of things to be afraid of. And it says, but in truth, there's nothing to fear. In truth, where everything is one, there aren't separate factions to attack one another. So there's nothing to be afraid of because there is no adversarial arrangement. And so it's very easy to recognize that, of course, there's nothing to fear. Fear is lack of love. In the presence of total love, there's no lack of love. That should be very simple. But it says this is really hard to understand when you identify with the world, your sense of separate self, your sense of smallness, your sense that you probably aren't really able to do much of anything right, which is what so many people believe. So now it says... We've got to have lots of practices that are very short, very sweet, very simple, just all the time, kind of keep running in the back of your mind, even when other things are going on, that there's nothing to fear. There's nothing to fear. I'm safe. There's nothing to fear. I'm going to love. I'm going to reach out in this situation. There is nothing to fear. Now, let me tell you something really interesting. Our neuroscientist friends will say, that if you focus without let up on an idea for 15 seconds, that your brain begins to rewire. Remember, this is a whole rewiring your brain operation. So now it's gonna ask us to focus on this thought of, there's nothing to fear. I'm fine, I'm safe. I'm continuing to tell my brain, I'm safe, I'm safe. You can turn off the stress response. Everything's cool. So you can see why it will say often, repeat with your eyes closed and then open your eyes and repeat it a few times. And if you notice how long that takes, it takes about 15 seconds. What a non-coincidence. And then it says, of course, the presence of fear is a sure sign that you're trusting in your own strength. That ego strength, which we saw in the lesson before this, is not count onable at all because the ego sense of separate self is a myth. A myth does not have any strength to call on. It has our allegiance, but that doesn't mean it has any strength. It says the awareness that there's nothing to fear shows you that some place in your mind you have remembered love and you're letting the strength inherent in love take the place of your weakness and therefore any sense that there's something to fear in the first place. So the ego mind thinks there's lots and lots to fear. It feels very small, under siege all the time, that it's itself versus the world and everyone else. But then it says that picture that you're carrying is not reality. It's not real. And the purpose of this course is to undo our conviction that the way we started out in life represents reality. Big task, but it does a marvelous job of accomplishing it. So just keep remembering, I'm safe, there's nothing to fear. In love, which is what I am and where I am, fear is impossible. Fear is the absence of love. I'm going to invest in love. There is nothing to fear. So keep thinking that as a little mantra in the back of your mind throughout the day. I'm safe. There's nothing to fear. Have a great practice. Bye.